My name is Mark Brand. I'm the business owner. I lived in Gastown for six years, proudly. Another classic in the making. You can have it for the taking. I uh, first visited the neighborhood around 2006. Um, I was I just moved to Vancouver from Australia after doing 10 years there and traveled around the city and didn't really care much for uh, the other neighborhoods. They reminded me of everywhere else on the planet that's metropolitan. So Gastown had a lot of character. It was uh, a lot sketchier back then, but I, I just really enjoyed the grit and the, the culture and the soul of the neighborhood. I moved into Gastown uh, in 2007 early when we were about to open uh, my first restaurant, Benita, which is on the corner of Cordova and Carroll, and just fell in love with operating down here too, and the, the real community feel and working with the residents of the neighborhood versus trying to extricate them from here has been a real blessing. So uh, we're sitting in the store now, and we've opened five other businesses with various partners in the span of three and a half, almost four years all within two blocks of each other. Yeah, there's been accusations, which I always find adorable, uh, which is just gonna incense people more about me gentrifying the area. Uh, Save on, got accused of that. All of the buildings that I've taken over, literally every single space that I occupy was derelict. There was nobody in them. So for any block to be vibrant or any neighborhood to be vibrant, it has to be occupied. And the thought of us being a detriment to the neighborhood by gentrifying it is not only ludicrous, it's borderline insane. We employ through all the businesses over 50 downtown Eastside residents. And I should be clear about that. That doesn't necessarily mean people who live in SROs, but people who live in the downtown Eastside. So we don't discriminate and try and marginalize people and say, oh, so-and-so lives in a low income housing and so and so lives with five other guys because they all skate, well, what's, doesn't matter. If you're struggling and you're working, then it's, everybody's pretty much the same in my eyes. You know, everybody knows everybody. There's a lot of nods and over years, some of the people who are a little harder to crack will then be like, hey, you're the guy that does that thing. And uh, the recent opening of Save On Meats has really polarized that. We opened our doors and the entire community came through immediately, like without any hesitation. My own ego led me to believe I'd have to do a lot of community outreach. Uh, nobody gives a shit that I run it at all. It's Save On Meats. It's more important than me or any one piece. So the community's back and they're happy and they're barking about bacon prices and everything's awesome.